Okay, um, welcome to this session. Um, this is uh, called the Kinetic Bunny, meet the, meet the Virtual Bunny. I'm Julius Tuomisto. This is Janne Karhu. Um, just to give a little bit of brief background information, um, we come from a company called Telecode uh, from Finland, and we are a part of the Studio Lumiku co-op, based in Finland mostly. Um, we, just to give you a slight overview of what we do, uh, we were here last year uh, presenting a concept called Kinetic Stories. Um, I was actually at Synakid uh, um, at the Westergasfabrik, uh, another part of Amsterdam, for the week, promoting this one, taking it a little bit further. Uh, we also released a software called C-Vector, which is totally separate. Uh, it's a WeChat tool, basically, for depth cameras. Um, but now we like just to kind of uh, go directly into the subject. Uh, we're going to try to cut this uh, a little bit shorter uh, for Francesca's sake. <laughs> um, uh, but what is Enamet? Uh, Enamet is a toolkit that we released about one and a half years ago. Uh, we've been developing for three years now. Uh, basically for, for the depth, depth sensors, these things um, like the Kinect and so forth. Um, uh, it's basically, so far it's been me and Janne. Janne does all the work, I do all the talking. Uh, <laughs> so, um, and basically Enamet is a toolkit that allows you to do installation work, uh, like do gesture and motion based concepts and, and do game game prototypes and, and use it for animation. So it's also a motion capture, motion capture tool. Uh, we, we released, actually this spring, we released a, a second version of the um, Blender plugin. We call it Enamet Tools. It's an open source plugin uh, that takes in the OSC transmitted data from uh, Enamet and, and captures that and then you can use it to do almost anything that you, you want that, to use that uh, data for. Um, just uh, maybe Janne could give a little bit of, of a talk about like um, what Enamet, what the Enamet tools in particular, uh, what's new about it and, and so forth. Um, the basic uh, fun thing is going to happen a little bit in a little while. We're going to do a demo with the Oculus Rift, uh, uh, which uh, everybody is um, talking about nowadays, uh, the kind of the virtual reality and, and this stuff. But uh, Janne, take it. Yeah. Hi on my part also. Uh, so I don't know if you, any of you have uh, already tried, tried Enamate and the Enamate tools add-on, but uh, now things are getting e even more easier to use. So the orientation is purely done with the uh, quaternions, so it's much easier than the previous matrix, rotation matrix stuff. And in the very soon to be released Enamate version, 1.18, we have support for the Oculus Rift, and you can get the orientation da dates from the Oculus also straight into Blender with the NMA tools. Yeah, I can, I can show you a bit about the, about the NMA tools and the workflow now, if this hopefully works. Should we perhaps first show the actual thing working? So if this not, makes my, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now I'm going this uh, game engine scene with all the stuff set up correctly, and now I'm just gonna press P. And then we'll wait a while for the sensors to start up. If you can try to move a bit. Yep. Okay, so now the sensor picked Julius up. And now you can take the, you don't have to put it on your head, but just move it a bit. So now also the Oculus is tracking and the head, head orientation is tracked by the, by the Oculus. I don't know, perhaps put it on your forehead or something, so it's a bit more natural. And you can come upstairs, uh, during this weekend, we'll be demoing this if you want to try it out for yourself. But the basic idea is that you can 
now pretty easily get a virtual, virtual reality experience straight in Blender. And I know you just, if you can still show, so the bunny is shown in the mirror, but actually you can also look at your own hands, for example, and you can see them. That's, uh, it's pretty interesting feeling, actually, if you come, come and try it, to actually transform into the bunny yourself. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Tracking malfunction. But yeah, I could also show a bit about the. Yeah, sure, you can try it now. <laughs> yeah, it's because, because the too many screens connected. But we'll be upstairs demoing this. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I can show you a bit about the how we how this is constructed. This, uh, this whole blend file will be online later today if you want to check it out for yourself. But basically here we have the new Enamate plugin. Let's just run the script. So we, here we have uh, these simple tools that can be used to directly create the game logic needed to, first of all, uh, import the skeleton tracking data for the bunny. And then also, for example, start, start our software Enimate automatically when the game engine is started. And also quit the Enimate once the game engine is quit. But basically here, I've simply selected this. Let's see. I've simply selected this uh, root object on which all the, it's basically where the sensor is in real life. And then simply, Click the update game logic, and then this, all these, these uh, Python controllers and sensors are created automatically here with these settings. There's quite a lot of stuff that's happening here, but you don't have to worry about anything other than just clicking the correct options here, and then you can update the game logic. There's also a lot of other things. For example, you can, I don't know if you, Noticed I when Julius picked up the Oculus, I pressed the space bar so you can reset the reset the orientation of the Oculus with uh, with these new messages that you can send to Animate from the Blender plugin. And now I don't know basically this the the actual setup is the I don't know classic game engine mirroring te technique. Of doing, we have two bunnies actually here. Because I don't know if the game engine rendering would be suitable for doing actual ray traced, ray traced mirroring. And then basically we just have these empties which capture the raw tracking data, and then the orientation is transformed into the motions of the armature here. Uh, did you have anything to yep. add? Mr. Vaas Leiden. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, why, we, why did we do it? I mean, that's, that's probably the real question. Um, like you probably um, kind of figured out. So, so what was really new and what, why you would want to do, use something like the sensor in, in front of them? Uh, in, together with the Oculus, is obviously that the Oculus doesn't doesn't like Yenna said. The Oculus doesn't give you the ro um, it only gives you the rotation data. It doesn't give you the, the for example the the position of the head. So if if you're really wanting to do a kind of convincing VR, uh, you definitely need that. Uh, what I've read about the Oculus, um, it seems that, that it, it's very likely that the final product will will actually have this kind of uh, feature, or or it, they will at least solve it somehow. Um, but at the moment, I, I think that um, probably Enamet is the easiest way to actually uh, do this kind of stuff. Um, uh, use cases, I mean, there. I mean, you can just uh, think about it. I mean, there's there's um, an amazing amount of use cases for this. Um, first, first, like an easy easy thing is is 
if you'd li you'd like to use the game engine, for example, for archi architectural visualizations where you kind of have the person walking around uh, the building before it's even constructed. If you would like to do game concepts uh, that use this use these features, uh, or if you're using doing it do some kind of educational applications, for example, uh, medical medical things, you know, whatever. Uh, there are some challenges, obviously. Um, uh, the lag is, is a huge challenge. Um, it's one of the, the main things that cause uh, so-called uh, seasickness uh, on, on the virtual reality headsets. And it's definitely one of the things that uh, you will encounter with even with Animate. Um, but if you do have a sensor like this, you can you can try to re reduce the lag by by running. Uh, we and Amit also now supports uh, uh, 60 frames per second mode for these types of sensors. The Kinect unfortunately cannot do it. Uh, but um, that's about it. Um, uh, the nice thing is that we we're releasing all the files, the the stuff that you saw today. Uh, we're putting it all all out uh, today. You can download it from Enamet.com. Um, and if, if you are lucky enough to have an Oculus, uh, uh, you can become the bunny. You can be one with the bunny. So, so um, if, but uh, for all of those who are here, um, you can actually, really like Janja said, we're, we're going to run two Oculus uh, upstairs. You can come try it out and, and come talk to us. Eh? Uh, we're going to try to. Okay, we're we're gonna try one more thing, and then we're gonna switch over. So, so we're gonna try to um, get somebody to try it out, uh, like so that you do uh, actually. Hey, you do actually get to experience it. So, if if for example, Ton would like to step up, Ton, Ton, would you like to become the bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you, you would need to uh, you need to take the glasses off. Do you can you can you see without the glasses? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah you can try. Like you have to put that oh, on. <laughs> the virtual bunny is. Uh... <laughs> can you see something from there? Sure. <laughs> no, you need to put it there. It's going to project stuff into your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, oh my God! <laughs> if you look to your left, if you can uh, turn a bit to the right, then I'll to the right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> It's not your hand. It's <laughs> so this is this probably looks like Tone's day every day. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you notice any difference. Actually, it's. <laughs> Yeah, there is lag. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's yeah. We're we're gonna try to like yeah. make it smaller, smaller. It's about the sensors, basically. Yeah, the skeleton tracking uh, ha always has some some kind of lag, because uh, I don't know. That's that's the current generation of the sensors. We can hope that. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Yeah, it's so almost the same. Yeah, there is a new one. Yeah, that's that's gonna be better. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you again. <laughs> Sorry for running late. No, I was expecting to be like 20 minutes later or something. So. <laughs>